Yeah, we're pleased with the group that are, that are playing. The 23 there looking strong and some options off the bench. Unfortunately, Tyler Ardron um, just, just had a bump on the head a few weeks ago uh, over in New Zealand playing for the Chiefs and uh, he's failed to pass his protocols. Um, so there's no uh, doubt on that one. We pulled him out and see how he goes for next week. Um, yeah, but uh, you know he's replaced Luke Campbell, Matt Heaton, and uh, Lucas Rumble. We've been really pleased with those guys over the last few weeks. So great opportunity for them. Dabrowski will be on the bench, and he's done really well too. So good stuff there. And of course, the other one was Gordon McCrory. For us, it's almost like lo losing two players in one. The ability to play nine and ten, but that's what it is. Um, Shane O'Leary been playing really well for Ealing, and uh, he's the winner of the uh, LV Cup over there. And uh, and played in a very good game in the final recently against Leinster, so he's ready, he's trained very well. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to it, exciting with young Theo uh, Soder on the bench as well. You uh, know the Scottish side quite well, having coached over in the UK. What are you expecting from them on Saturday? Yeah, look, they, they're a top side, a top four in the world, I think, at the moment, and uh, coached by Gregor Townsend. As you said, I know Gregor played against him for Wales and Scotland, uh, coached against him in the last few years in the same tournament, of course, him with Glasgow and me and my former job. So, look, he's a very good coach, very positive on the game. We expect a fast game, um, try to create opportunities. They will, they will play from turnover, try and offload the ball. So it's going to be an exciting game for the spectator. It suits us. We'll try and play the same way. And, um, yeah, we're expecting a free-flowing game. But exciting. Two players on the roster about to hit their 50th cap mark, Phil Mack, Nick Blevins, two stalwarts in the Canadian jersey. What does 50 caps mean to those two guys and for yourself as the coach? Oh, look, those two guys deserve that. They've worked really hard. I think I've got so much respect for both Phil and Nick Blevins. And um, I mean, it's a massive achievement. It shouldn't be underestimated to play 50 times. And uh, they still got a bit of rugby in the tank as well. You know, we're not too old and uh, got that experience. I think Nick probably is at his peak at the moment. He's playing really good stuff, really good leadership around the group. And of course, Phil the same. So great to have those guys. Um, Theo Soder on the other end of the scale on, on the bench, possibly get his first cap and a couple of other guys as well getting getting their first chances really against a tier one team. Uh, the likes of Noah Barker and Luke Campbell, they've worked really hard through the ARC and they've been rewarded uh, for their good performances in a huge game.